Are we ready? Let's do some gauntlet? Yeah. 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 Alright, we'll start yeah. in, uh, I'll tell you when to start. Three, two, one, go. Alright, playing as the elf because he's the fastest, best speedrun character. He is like twice as fast as the second fastest character. Right. Yeah. And then I'll get a speed upgrade and then he'll be just impossible to control. Cool. Yeah, it'll be great. I like impossible to control. That's kind of like, so we're still transitioning from awful games done quick with that. <laughs> yes. No. It's just the Alps. Except so this fast. game's like totally awesome. That is. That's true. I'm not so convinced of that. This is an awesome game. It is an awesome game. This is really confusing. I know it is, I'm just saying. Yeah, it is really confusing. I've spent lots of hours in the arcade playing this. <laughs> you know, the arcade version is actually completely different. Not quite as yeah, confusing. Yeah, I know, I know. It's not as confusing. <laughs> Don't shoot food. The walls just You can still the shoot food. The walls just stop. Blue Warrior is not the food. Blue Warrior needs food badly. Blue Warrior is about to die. Insert coins now. <laughs> we have a uh, $25 donation from Dallas named uh, Niger. Sure. I'm not good at I'm not good at English. All right, I'm, I'm an immigrant, so what? <laughs> <laughs> this is all new to me. How long ago? That's not important. <laughs> <laughs> Also, if you think he's moving fast now, just wait till he gets the speed. Yeah. Compared to Deadly Towers, this is a godsend. Thanks, chat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Deadly Towers was also awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. You, weren't, you obviously weren't watching it. No. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, if like the first half of Deadly Towers wasn't there, it'd be a fairly confident game. <laughs> right, if they just started you out being able to shoot more than one sword at once, that would help. And yeah, having twice the defense. Yeah, and if having the defense. The armor, yeah. you'd be good. That's why I had a mad race level through almost all. Yeah. But so then you got the end game. <laughs> I missed back. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It was, it was, it was fun times, man. Well, this is not what I was thinking. No, unfortunately. Have some money. Yeah. I missed that. So the black thing there, is that is a death or something? No, but it takes a lot of shots to kill. Okay. Yeah, I recall that guy being special somehow. And he can trap you in the corner and he'll take a lot of health away as you're sitting there trying to kill him. I finally got the comment from that previous $25 donation. Uh, you are all awesome, especially Fiesel. We know. We think he is awesome too. Uh, accepting the no glasses challenge. Looking forward to it. Okay. Uh, I will be reading the comments for a speedrun for this game and them saying that you need to get a certain amount of treasure to level up a certain amount of times during the run. Yes, you do. There's very little variation though. I'll have 200 uh, treasure by the end of this, one way or another, regardless. I just thought. It's. And that boosts the amount of max health. That, yeah, health. boosts your max health. And when you finish the treasure room, it fills your health, right? Yes, if you, fin if you find the exit. Well, yeah. So, um, right. very basic question about the game. Different exits take you to different levels or what? Like right, see, in this map here, there's... Oh. In this map here, there's different ways you can go. It doesn't tell you what the possible options are, but the maps will take you different ways. The game's extremely helpful like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those games where you play a lot when you figure out how to do it. Right, and a lot of the exits are hidden. Like, there's a yeah. there. Okay. And if you play it multiplayer, you're never actually going to figure anything out. Yeah, multiplayer is hard. Yeah, I had to use my safety bomb in that other place because I got bad luck. Otherwise, I'd bomb those guys. So a lot of the strategy of this game is, I mean, knowing where to go, knowing which keys to pick up. So I mean, a lot of it's a routing uh, is the main challenge to this game. But um, the other real critical thing is where you place the bombs. So exactly where you're standing on the screen affects how many things you'll kill and what you'll kill. And so I try to place the bombs in places that get rid of um, as many of the spawn points as I can. And there's other places where you just get trapped and there's no way to get through except to use the bombs. So. I really got to be careful about where I use them because I have only so many. You can only hold ten bombs too, which is a 
problem. Sometimes you need more than that, especially at the end. It becomes, well, it's not like you really need to, I sometimes do need to be quite precise about not hitting doors as long well. Yeah, in this place i got to be really precise, because they put treasure chests here just to waste your keys. Yeah. There we go. But it, most of the time, the speed is just very helpful. <laughs> right. Getting past the normal enemies and stuff. Yeah, because basically this game is just about getting through things fast, because your health runs down the more time you spend in, this, uh, you know, in the levels. There's no timer. Your timer is just your health running out. And the longer you stand around, the more the guys hit you. So yeah. it's really advantageous to be a faster character. I would have a hard time beating this with Warrior just because, yeah. you know, he's around so long that he'll get mobbed. Also, the enemies will spawn. The longer, even when they're not on the screen, enemies will spawn from the spawn locations. And so with a really slow character, by the time you get to the end of the level, it'll just be completely filled with enemies. Like, every yeah. square will just be full of enemies. Uh, you're not through that anymore, I think. Um, food. Alright, where are you going? Uh, I guess I'm just guessing the balance down the street. <laughs> <laughs> you said food and time right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, these, um, <laughs> uh, the warp points in the levels, um, behave differently like, what yeah, direction you're going to walk into. Some of them do. Some of them yeah, are completely no. random, some of them are kind of random, but you can choose what side you come out on, and yeah. some of them are manipulatable, so yeah. <laughs> you just gotta know what's what. Yeah. Some of them are just trolls. Yeah, some of them are. We'll, we'll see when I get to the level, the World 4 treasure rooms. We have a uh, $15 donation from uh, Waldemar uh, Whiskey. Greetings from the Planet Quake community in Germany. You're doing a great job, GG. Ten dollar donations from the board. Comments. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Diesel's milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. So yes. here I am, three. <laughs> Who this said is that? my donation to see Super Mario World be played by G Unit tonight. Yes, by the everyone way, donate for that. We want to see Super Mario World played by Andrew G. By the way, I am not wearing any pants. Oh, now I gotta know who that is. Uh, John O'Gorman. <laughs> Who's? I don't know who that is. If you're in the chat, yeah. I'm, I'm who is it? Know. You have to know. Yeah, Fiesel wants to know. It's not me. He already donated. Who could it be? I know lots of people who don't wear pants when they're watching my stream, so, you know, it doesn't really <laughs> narrow it down. <laughs> okay. When I stream, it's usually the one. Right. Oh, okay, that's Dram. Oh, it's Dram, okay. I yeah. Hey, Dram. Hello, Dram. I'm good. I know who you are, Mr. Dram 55. Thanks, man. That's it? Program? No, man, donate more. That's not enough of the margin. <laughs> this is one where if you don't go the right way in that teleporter, the run is over. The game is over, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a bunch of places like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's the fun part. <laughs> the invisible wall levels. <laughs> oh, the invisible wall levels. Yeah. I'm only going to play three of them, though, unfortunately. Alright, 
right, so when you go into those quicksands, it, it pauses you for a few seconds, but you can, the timer will run down while you're in the menu. So what I do to avoid getting hit is I hit the thing and then I go into the menu and come out again, and that runs the timer down without those guys beating me up. This is an amazing amount of those games that do exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, timer. Yeah. Like, makes my new a lot. does it as well, not that do it. Okay, this is a random teleporter room. These are semi-manipulatable, but not nearly enough. No, nope, didn't yeah. get it. Uh, is this like Gauntlet 2 where if you get that, uh, the uh, controller it. adapter that allows you to have four controllers, can you play No, only two. That would four, uh, trying to keep four people on the screen would be really tough. Come on, man, I'll get it. I'll get it, I'll get it. There we go, that's where I wanted to be. There's no Gauntlet 2. I lost a lot of health there, that's not good. Oh man, that's not good, I'm, I'm pretty low on health. Four people on the screen, two dollars each shot. It's like the normal goes to do very little damage to you and they die like instantly. But there are other enemies which can do a lot more. Uh, yeah. And also the, so the monster spawners also do a lot more damage. So I'm really hoping I get an exit here. <clears throat> These teleporters are completely random, not manipulatable, and I don't know where the exit is, so I probably won't hit the exit here. But I really hope I do, because I want my health back. No. Uh, here we go, maybe. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I was playing against the second with with the second fastest character. We were playing a co-op, and I was just like running around yeah, in circles trying to waste time. That was the second fastest. Also the second fastest. Yeah, the second fastest. That, uh, that's yeah. <laughs> that's like me. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Other random yeah. treasure room. This is why I hate speedrunning this game. Because oh wow, see that's oh, good luck. Wow. <laughs> this, would, this might be a keeper. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I do about 60 rooms, I think, out of 100. It's not possible to do all 100 rooms either. It makes you choose at some point. I was trying to plan a hundred room run of this game for a while before I realized that you couldn't do it. What's the maximum? Um, I don't know, but that might be an interesting category. It's probably like in the high 80s, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> high 80s. Alright, and that's my health going up because I collected treasure. This room is also really annoying for speedrunning just because randomness. But at least I know that uh, it was the very last one I checked. So. Yeah, well, it's always going to be the last one you check. Yeah. Well, with the speed boost, he's able to go pretty much every single spot. Yeah, I can always, you can always hit all the exits. There's enough time if you are if you don't waste time. Okay, now this is a really bad one, because if I go through this one of these false exits, the run is over. If you're going to fall asleep, I'm going to just get new people. I'll be really careful here. Oh my god. Okay. That would have killed my run if I went through one of those. Alright, there's the pause trick again. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, good luck with the slime. Sometimes they'll just... They'll just troll you, they'll just pack in there and you can't get through. Slimes are always bad in games. Slimes and bats. Practicing. The SDA run is in the high 17s, and I got 1650 while I was practicing. Me. 
Oh wait, so you you got a new record while you're here? Uh, no, while I was practicing for it in the last couple weeks. So I've got new runs for Deadly Towers and Gauntlet coming up. And I'm submitting Chippendale Rescue Rangers run as well. So. Did someone else have a... Um, it was Frezzy, and then Clage uh, beat it, and then I beat Clage's. So, okay, the number on the top left is your health slash timer. What's the number in the middle there? It's the room number. Oh, 91. Uh, treasure room is the yeah, the this is the treasure room. 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 This is the Oh, and this one that counts down yeah, in the treasure rooms, it does. Oh, 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 All right. it's a bonus level. You have to get out of the, yeah, it's a bonus level. You only get the, the repels build if you no. find the exit. So this is the final stretch. I'm not going to get any more bombs, any more keys, and any more health refill after this, so. Or actually, there will be a couple of keys, but i got to really be careful of my health here. And I hope I get the good exit, which I didn't. Uh, this is going to make the game a lot harder, not getting the good exit on this level. Just watch yourself fall down in this section. Oh, I might die. Let's see. Oh, that's really low. <laughs> this is not looking good. This is why you get yeah, I don't think I, I think I'm gonna game over. I don't think <clears throat> I'm gonna make it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a game over. Dang. Um, yeah, I gotta. I'll put in a password, but and, and try that section again. But if you get the bad exit on that level, there's a 50/50 chance what exit you're gonna get. And if you get the bad exit, there's really not much you can do. How do you enter? A, how do you enter the password? I don't even remember. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So. I know, but I have to... Oh, yeah, I should use that one, I guess. Because I... Wait, did I... Yeah, I did find the exit in that one. So, yeah, I can start again. Cool. Wait, that's not the right room. This is 79. No, let's start again from 92. I don't know why it took me there. Like passwords. Yeah, I'm curious as to why new games don't do these passwords here. There you go. Because those saves. Yeah. I never checked these. But saves are so inconvenient. I just figured, oh, I need a 30 digit password in order. Only 30? Come on. Well, 50, games 50 are more character passwords is where it's at. <laughs> so, sorry I couldn't get all the way through, but a lot of runs end there just for that reason. There's not really much you can do about it. Oh, I still start here. Great. <laughs> Alright, well, it won't take long to get back there again. They really like all this other time. It's an important level. It's like the breakfast level. <clears throat> oh, I'm not sure it's beatable at this point because I actually don't have all the keys I'm supposed to have. No. This might not be beatable now. The, the, no, the password was supposed to have the keys, but apparently it didn't give me them. Oh. Well, it's supposed, yeah, it's probably <laughs> supposed to have the keys, so it to have about level, level 92. Oh, no, oh that's probably what it is. Bombs. Yeah, that's probably what it is. No, because you used all your bombs after you had the same password that Mm, no, I would have had eight bombs there. Well, let me try. Let me try the password for 70, 78 then. The one that's supposed to have the right number of keys. Well, seventy eight is the one right before where I get the password. So hopefully that'll work. Yeah, I just want to try to see the end of this. What's the total we're up to? Yeah. Is this nice to have a break. One, one with the good exit? 
to, well, I don't know if I'll have the good exit or the bad exit, but hopefully this will have the correct number of keys and bombs. Because <coughs> without that, we'll be screwed. That's better. That's looking a lot better. Okay, now I can actually do it. So yeah, it was. It did have the keys and bombs that I would have had at level 90 something, even though I only started at 79. Oh, but I don't have my power shot, so I'm going to have to go get an extra key there. Yes, the happy music level. I assume it was awesome. Yeah. Who won the who won the race? Yeah. And Batsby Brawler Group? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So E nine B D R P F A. If your password starts with level A, you can't. You, or it starts with the letter A, you can't. That there's no way you can possibly win. Well, there is a, a vault combo for it, but it doesn't work. So there's no way you can win. Well, and it's for like no health and no keys. No, I mean like you enter the vault combo that it gives you, and it just fails. Like you, you get into this level, and it'll just say game over at the beginning of the level. <laughs> Alright, so this guy's pretty easy. I fake him out so that he shoots the middle head instead of shooting me. I've got pretty low health here, but I, I will probably make it. Just because I have an extra bomb to use. So, I'll probably make it. Yeah, he can just hold the button in and he'll mash automatically, so... Yeah. And I like how there's some graphical junk stuck on the, on the screen after you kill that guy. I don't know what that's about. I think that was part of the boss that just gets stuck on the screen. Alright, and there's... This is the orb that I've been trying to get. And if you... You don't want to leave without it. That's it. <laughs> All right. All right. What do we have up next? There you go. <laughs> and this one screen. This is the whole ending here. Order is now restored.